Hi, welcome to our devotional series based on the book by Max Licato called Grace for the Moment. Today is Monday, April 12th, and today's chapter is entitled God Gets Into Our Lives. I remember several years ago, someone said to me and a group of people attending a retreat, you may be the only Jesus some people see. Well, that sentence blew me away. I thought someone could see me as Jesus in their lives? Seemed impossible to believe. But now, hear the words of St. Paul in his letter to the Galatians. It's taken from Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. And it is no longer I who live, but it is Christ who lives in me. And now, hear the words of Max Licato. You have to rake leaves, a steering wheel to grip, a neighbor's hand to shake. Simply put, you have things to do. And so does God. Babies need hugs. Children need good night tucks. AIDS orphans need homes. Stressed out executives need hope. God has work to do and he uses our hands to do it. What the hand is to the glove, the spirit is to the Christian. God gets into us, at times imperceptibly, ooh, that's a big word, imperceptibly, other times disruptively. God gets his fingers into our lives, inch by inch, reclaiming the territory that is rightfully his. Your tongue, he claims it for his message. Your feet, he requisitions them for his purpose. Your mind, he made it and intends to use it for his glory. Your eyes, face, and hands, through them, he will weep, smile, and touch. Let us pray. Dear gracious God, help us to be open vessels of your love in this world. Help us to think and act like you would have us do. May our acts of charity and love bring you the glory. Help us to be your hands and feet to those around us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Until next time, stay safe, be well. And let's let God get into us.